What's up, Scorpio? This is Soul here. And Scorpio, we're going to take a look at your week ahead, starting uh, November 20, yeah, November 20th and ending on the 26th of November 2023. Scorpio, I hope all is well as we are coming to uh, a close of your season and entering into Sagittarius' season. So I want to wish all those Scorpios who are actually going to be celebrating their birthday this week a very happy and safe birthday celebration also i want to wish you all who celebrate thanksgiving a very happy and safe thanksgiving celebration all right so i'm using the arcanum uh, tarot to deliver your messages i have reversed some cards here so we're just going to shuffle up pretty good and see what's coming up and ask spirit what can scorpio expect this week what's in store for Scorpio, what's coming up for my fellow Scorpios this week? Energies for Scorpio. All right, here we go, Scorpio. Let's begin. Well, we're going to... Ooh, okay. Interesting. We start off with the tower as the very first card. Oh, my gosh. Okay, let's see. Page of Swords is in the reverse. We have the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Up next, we have the Judgment card uh, in the upright, and we also have the Strength card in the reverse. Two major arcanas here. We have the Five of Wands. We have the Page of Pentacles. Now, I only reversed 10 cards, and I gave this deck a good shuffle here. So, uh, Page of Pentacles is in the reverse. We also have the Eight of Cups in the reverse. That's actually pretty good. We also have the Page of Cups, and we have the Hermit. The Hermit is usually neutral, but it counter crosses over here to this tower so it may have some sort of significance for some Scorpios out there where you know with the hermit you have to detach your energies you know you want to spend some time alone um you know could be just um meditating it could also be you know uh trying to figure out something maybe you have to do some deep and you know deeper introspection uh as to what's going to um you know unfold for you this week maybe there's something um, that you need to think about and ponder about. And for others, it could be just simply just wanting to spend some time alone. All right. So, uh, in your shadow, we have the two of cups in the reverse. We have the nine of wands in the reverse. Then we have the eight of wands in the upright. Okay. So this is your shadow energy here, Scorpio. So let's, uh, try to pull all of this energy here together. Um, I was actually hoping to get more or at least better energy for you as we're closing um, your season, but you know, it's not going to be the type of situation or, uh, energy that may impact or infect everyone here, every Scorpio. So just keep that and bear that in mind. And remember, it's just me interpreting the cards. You guys can take, uh, you know, what works for you and leave the rest alone. So we already begin with the tower here. So, you know, that's always about shocking news, devastation, uncontrollable, you know, events, so you can't control it, Scorpio, so you have to let the energies, however they're going to surface up for you to, you know, ride out. Keep in mind that the tower being in your spread doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be something that personally affects you or impacts you. Uh, I do caution, though, to make sure that, you know, you're not getting yourself involved in any types of engagements uh, with others and in, in types of arguments or you know, fights, because it could turn out to be very uh, explosive or volatile. So you don't want to do that. With regards to that tower, though, it does bring up the energy of, um, you know, events that, like I said, are uncontrollable. And it could be involving earthquakes. We still have the wars going on. Um, it could be our weather. So it could be, you know, inclement weather, depending on what area you're living in. Something shocking, something devastating can be expected here. And it may be just you receive that news. And I also, too, relate the Tower's energy uh, to, you know, just picking up information from, you know, world news, global news. And, you know, that might be the Tower's energy or the source of its energy. The Page of Swords following that Tower is in the reverse. So I usually talk about the Tower. Uh, and I'm sorry. I usually talk about the Page of Swords in the reverse. Um 
When it's in the upright, however, somebody new may be interested in you. Uh, but oftentimes when it shows up in the reverse, that means that person has either ended their um, interest in you or it could be you who have had ended your interest in somebody new. New conversations don't come to the forefront here because it's something that's, you know, preventing you to, um, you know, engage in some sort of, you know, type of new uh, conversations, first actions and first decisions, first moves. Uh, it could be also, too, because I associate this page of swords with uh, global and network news. It may be something that's linked directly to that tower when we're receiving some sort of news that's globally uh, or worldly that is very shocking. OK, um, seven of Pentacles here. Well, you're not going to be focused on uh, work. Of course, many of you may not be because, you know, we're moving into the holiday season. So um, there is an anticipation of some sort of money that might be held up for you. It could be a pay raise that you may have been expecting. The seven of pentacles in the reverse mirrors that tower. So it could be anything involving your work or your finances this week. Um, options may not be available uh, to you as much as they often would have been if the uh, seven of pentacles was in the upright. The judgment uh, moving uh, next to the Seven of Pentacles here is all actually going to take down some of the Tower's energy here for you, Scorpio, because this is a card that represents protection, you know, spiritual energy, spiritual guided, guidedness, if necessary, things that surface to the top that were hidden before, things that you, you know, may discover about yourself that you didn't know uh, before and things that you discover about other people that you didn't know before. Now, that could be both positive or negative. The uh, whole emphasis is, is not to use the judgment against yourself or against others. Just stay positive uh, in, terms, in terms of interactions with others, including your own energies. Because this is the card that represents karma. You know, the energy that you put out there is what you're going to get back. The strength card, Major Arcana, is also in the reverse. So that means that, you know, it could be that there is... Um, I always get... You know, like a loss of power. I'm talking about physical power uh, when it comes to the tower and the uh, sun. But we have the strength card here in the reverse. And that means uh, when it's in the upright, you're always, you know, feeling, you know, strong, courageous, feeling powerful. Nothing is going to, um, you know, come against you. Any obstacles or challenges you face and overcome. Here, there's a fear of losing some sort of power, okay, and not ne necessarily physical power. It could be some other type of power. It mirrors over here to the Seven of Pentacles. So maybe, again, uh, for some of you related to your work and your finances, um, feeling less passionate about something or someone, uh, just don't feel like, you know, you're on the top. Yeah, top of your um, your game here this week with the strength card in the reverse. And again, it's over top of the hermit card. I had mentioned the hermit that some of you are going to be, you know, uh, withdrawing, just wanting to spend some time alone, trying to figure some stuff out. So it may have something to do with that combination in itself. The five of wands here coming after the... Um, Strength card is the card that always is the projection of energy coming on to you from others. And keep in mind, I always say don't engage yourself in any types of arguments because I know the holidays are coming here and oftentimes it brings a lot of stress. So don't get yourself caught up with any types of pettiness from others. Usually that's what the five of uh, wands means for me. Uh, so it's usually their energy, Scorpio, and not necessarily yours. Something's going on with them and they ain't got nothing to do with you. For others, you could just feel just a little bit of restless this week. And um, since it is the five of wands, that too shall pass. The page of Pentacles is a job offer or a contract offer that's still coming, but it's on delay. OK, maybe the start of a business is on delay. Something's holding up with the seven of Pentacles here in your spread as well. I had mentioned that maybe there was some sort of pay raise or bonus money that you're expecting, but it's being held up for some strange reason. And that could be connected to the page of Pentacles in the reverse. The eight of cups next to the uh, page of Pentacles here is actually pretty good. Whatever you dealt with previously, 
in terms of emotional drama that's moving away from you. Um, you're no longer wanting to deal with it. And it doesn't even have to be in the upright position for me to read this, you know, in a positive state. Because usually in the upright, I always say the back is against the cups, that you've already dealt with something emotional, and now you're ready to move away from that and, and just, you know, move into or walk into something more positive. Here, you're just, you know, uh, again, I associate this stuff here, Scorpio, with, you know, the holidays. It could be the birthdays, but it could be the holidays specifically because I tell you, a holidays, uh, Christmas and Thanksgiving, they bring on a lot of, um, you know, undue stress. So, um, and unwanted stress as, as well. So I think that you are um, trying to alleviate uh, with the Eight of Cups in the reverse, all of that potential energy that may come your way. So, um, and again, I may link this to the Strength card being in the reverse too. So maybe you're not feeling as strong uh, as you thought you would, but you're not wanting to deal with any, maybe it's because you're emotionally drained from something that happened recently. But it again, you know, it just depends on you and the person and what you've been dealing with. Page of Cups, which is the uh, card that is uh, inconsistent with the rest of the energies here, is the. it could be the job offer. It could be the uh, pregnancy news. It could be the new romance. It could be the uh, Scorpios who have entered into uh, a relationship and it's less than 30 days old. So pregnancy news, childbirth, a job offer, new relationships, romantic uh, may be coming forth here with that. The Hermit I already talked about, the Two of Cups in your shadow. And, you know, I don't speak about this enough, Scorpio, but, you know, the shadow energy does, <clears throat> uh, can be significant, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to play out along with the rest of the energies that are potentially set here for you. So the Two of Cups here is the energy where, you know, you're not seeing eye to eye with your partner. Your partner's not seeing eye to eye with you. There may be some sort of difficulties in terms of uh, interactions or, you know, the relationship in itself, but it doesn't necessarily mean a split or a breakup. I do feel, though, with the reversal of the Two of Cups, it could still mean that someone wants to invite you out for, you know, a first date or something like that, or an invitation out in general, but there's some sort of delay or hold up with that energy. Uh, the Nine of Wands here in the reverse just means that you're going to have less energy. Um, again, it may be associated with the uh, strength card here, okay? Not feeling as energetic as you normally would, you know, because the holidays, and I don't want to always just use the holidays as, as a precursor to the, you know, uh, energies that are being shown here for you. But this could be that you're just not feeling it, you know, this week here, or you just don't have enough energy um, to do what you normally would do had the Nine of Wands been in the upright position. In contrast to that Nine of Wands, what follows is the Eight of Wands. So the Eight of Wands is actually pretty good. It's very positive. It's a card that represents communication for me. Still the type of energy that may put a, a smile on your face. Be in the receptor of receiving some sort of good news that may come through a phone call. Could be hard copy mail. It could be... Um, you know, texting, because I get a lot of texting. Uh, there is an emphasis here where wherever you need or whatever you need to communicate uh, in terms of expression to others will be well received by others. And then the information and communication that comes to you, Scorpio, will be well received by you. OK, there's nothing that's usually uh, misunderstood or taken out of context here with the eight of wands. Also, this card comes through for any Scorpio who is traveling for uh, the holidays this week. You are safe to and from, okay? And the Eight of Wands, excuse me, the Eight of Wands always has a touch of surprise, so you have that to look forward to. Well, this is what I have for you, uh, Scorpio. Like I said before, you know, just take what's going to work for you. Leave the rest alone. Uh, happy Thanksgiving once again. Uh, Scorpios who are celebrating their birthday this week, happy uh, birthday. Just remember, just, you know, be safe. Always throw in that extra um, word of caution and safety when the tower is present here. And, you know, just keep smiling for me. Give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate that. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.